He was born in 1957 in Ankara. From 1974 until 1980, he studied at Middle East Technical University, Department of Management. He was imprisoned twice, first in 1978 because of his socialist activities, and again in 1980 during operations during the coup which targeted all opposition groups. He was exonerated in both cases. He began working as a journalist in 1979 with the newspaper Demokrat and continued at Nokta in 1983. He joined the Human Rights Association which was working to repair the severe damage to society brought about by the 1980 military coup. Working in the association's Istanbul branch, he prepared reports on freedom of expression and association and torture crimes. In 1990, he began working with the Human Rights Foundation of Turkey, which was formed to support torture victims. Representing the foundation in meetings abroad, he spoke about the state of human rights in Turkey. That same year, together with a group of intellectuals, writers, politicians, journalists and activists, he joined the Helsinki's Citizens Assembly, known today as the Citizens Assembly, which works in the areas of democracy and pluralism and served for many years on its board of directors. He was among the founders of the Refugee Legal Aid Program, which was Turkey's first civil society project working on the issue of refugees and continues today as an independent institution called the Refugee Rights Center. In 1995, he joined the founding staff of Amnesty International Turkey and served for many years as a journalist, editor, editor-in-chief, columnist and director of publications for several magazines and newspapers. He wrote articles about human rights, democracy, social struggles, the Kurdish problem, identities and freedoms, and taught journalism classes and seminars at universities and various other ventures. He also took part in the establishment and projects of the Foundation for Social Studies, Culture and the Arts, the Peace Congress, and the Peace Foundation. Since 2000, he has conducted projects focusing on the Kurdish problem, peace, and coming to terms with the past. In 2011, together with a group of activists, he founded the Truth Justice Memory Center, which strives to uncover the rights violations experienced during wartime and under authoritarian administrations and to contribute to the strengthening of collective memory about those violations. As co-director and manager of the center's communications program, he conducted projects to achieve recognition of human rights violations and the crime of forced disappearances and strengthen community memory around these issues. On 28th May 2016, he served for a day as General Director of Publications for the newspaper Özgür Gündem Free Agenda, which had been closed by a court decision in support of its campaign. As a result, he was sentenced to 18 months in prison. He was released on probation on 21st of October 2017. In 2018, he received an award presented annually by the Stockholm-based civil rights defenders to people who place themselves in personal danger in defense of human rights. For years, he has striven to create peaceful, democratic, and pluralistic solutions to several ongoing heated issues in Turkey. Aware of the many different risks, he nonetheless speaks out in the defense of human rights. He fights for the establishment of freedom of expression and association, the exposure of human rights violations and torture, and recognition of the rights of those who were disappeared. Through his writings on coming to terms with the past and dialogue, he contributes to the strengthening of collective memory and toward raising awareness in this area. Therefore, Murat Çelikan. <laughs> Oh, bazlardan, bedut o bazlardan.